After a disputed presidential election, Bola Ahmed Tinibu takes the oath of office as Nigeria's 17th leader. The problems he's promised to deal with on his first day in office include insurgency, banditry, an economic slowdown, kidnappings, and a secessionist movement. We shall defend the nation from terror and all forms of criminality that threaten the peace, the peace and stability of our country. We shall remodel our economy to bring our growth and develop the GDP much better than we have today. I assure you. He also promised to grow the economy by 6% a year. Economic stagnation, a weak currency, and insecurity may be the main problems Bola Ahmed Tinibu inherited as president. But he's also leading a nation deeply divided by the previous presidential election. His key appointments and how he can unite Nigerians will point to how he wants to shape this country in the coming years. And that, analysts say, will be the first test of his administration. How he does that within the context of the political geography of appointments that is or that are already defined by the constitution of this country is something else. But once he misses on that, then there's a problem. An accomplished businessman, Bola Ahmed Tinibu's foray into politics and political activism is four decades old. His chance to prove his political acumen came when in 1999, he was elected governor of Nigeria's business capital, Lagos, for eight years. He is credited with setting the state on a path of economic growth, despite running battles with the then federal government. Tinibu promises an open government. Our administration will govern you only on your behalf, but never rule over you. We shall consult and dialogue, but never dictate. We shall reach out to all, but never put down a single person for holding view contrary to our own. But governing Lagos State may not be the same as leading a complex nation like Nigeria, and many people are expecting a lot. New jobs for everyone and a kind of uh, a country where is unified. Foreign exchange. If, if that can be adjusted quickly, you know, the usual water, shelter, transportation, and of course the power supply. His supporters say his previous experience has prepared him to lead Nigeria. But to do that, he must first defeat his presidential opponents in the courts, while his election victory is being challenged. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja.